हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वॉप परफेक्ट क्लासेस माय नेम इज रचना राणा आई हैव ट्वेंटी इयर्स टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ बेसिक कंप्यूटर कोर्स इन दिस लेसन आई एम टीचिंग यू हाउ टू चेंज फॉन्ट फेस font color how to implement highlight option how can change superscript subscript how can implement strike how can bold italic or underline how can increase or decrease the size and how can change the different different styles option which are given in this word first of all for this you have to write something for writing something you have to click on the document like this this is the page in which we are going to write so we can say this is the text area and this is called the document Microsoft Word is used for writing the document, for writing letters, resume, etc. Now I am going to give you demo. This is demo of. This is a demo of font. Now I am going to copy. for copy we are uh, selecting uh, this text we can select this text with the help of mouse if cursor is on the right hand side then move your mouse on the left side if your cursor on the left side then you can move your cursor on the right side with the help of mouse if you uh, want to select with the help of keyboard then you can click on the shift key and in navigation key is left key and move and click uh, and click and you can select the text now i am implementing font face for this first of click on this option in this option there are different types of faces like times new roman i use the time times new, uh, new roman here you can change size of the text from this option you can change you can increase the font size and so uh, it's called also grow font you can use the option control plus closing square bracket for increasing or uh, closing square bracket for increasing the text size and uh, opening square bracket for decreasing the text size but with the help with the control key if you want to shrink your size uh, shrink your text size then click this option you can shrink if you want to grow then click on this uh, option if you want to only within the these numbers then you click on this if you want to change font face you can click here if you want to bold click this option if you do not want to uh, bold then again click this option if you want to it uh, implement italic form then click this option if do not want to implement then click again this option remove or insert both are uh, same option underline not underline there are different types of underline options you can choose you can change the colors of underline of uh, underlines you can take this type you can implement this uh, this style of uh, underline 
you can strike the text strike is used for cutting the text if you want to write some signs formulas like this h if you want to write h base of h2 then you can use x2 that is called the subscript option like this if you want to come back normal format then again click same option now you can write that is the h2o this is a formula of signs for writing this type of uh, format you can use the subscript this now if you want to write maths formulas like a the power 2 a the raised to power 2 for raised to power 2 we use the superscript for using the superscript we click this option like this if you want to come back then again click on this this option like this right b the square for writing the b the square we click again option superscript come back control shift plus is option Uh, is the shortcut option for uh, using the superscript plus two a two a b for writing the capital letters one or two more uh, two letters if you want to write the in the capital format you can use the shift key plus that letter you want to write press that key equal bracket start if you want to write upper letters 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 is written on the on your keyboards if you want to write upper uh, let, uh, upper special writer uh, special key uh, special uh, la letters alphabets symbols you can use these symbols with the help of shift key a plus b up now you want to write closing round uh, closing round bracket then click on the shift key and click on closing round bracket you can see this like this if you want to implement any type of color then select text and change the color like this if you want to uh, highlight that these text then first of all select the text and then go into the highlight option like this if you want to remove this highlighting then again select the text and go into no color then highlighting will be removed if you want to change the case change case there are different types of change case like sentence case lower case upper case capitalize each word toggle case now i am going to implement this option on the this line this is demo of font first of all select the line then go into change case option if you want to write in lower case all font uh, all words then click this option like this if you want to all letters in the upper case then click on this option if you want to in toggle case then click on the toggle case in toggle case in toggle case this format in lower case 
capitalized format in capitalized formats all letters of each word cap, first letter is capital and other letters are small and in toggle case first letters are small other letters of word is capital in lower case all letters of words small in sentence case only first letter of first word is capital in name one line and other letters are small in capital uh, upper case all letters are capital form this is the clear formatting option if you click this option then all formatting will be removed like this if you want to write in right side this text then click on the alignment option in paragraph like this if you want to write this text in this center click on the center option left left option but if you click on the justified option then it's a helpful in the paragraph for the setting of margin adding extra space between words as necessary and the, it creates a clean look along the left and right side of the page uh, like this i am taking the size 12 this is a demo of paragraph setting paragraph setting Uh, this looks like a paragraph now i am impl implementing paragraph settings you can add spaces like this you can remove the spaces after the paragraph or before the paragraph like this if you want to remove space between lines then click on the line spacing option and uh, in spacing option before auto after auto settings and here single line option click don't add the space between paragraph of the same style you can set the identification left right side you can uh, left alignment out outline level etc like this if you click on the justify button then you can see this it's look properly set paragraph means you can also customize your space between the words in lines of paragraph and this green line shows that this symbol that is dot that is called the full stop it's uh, in between full stop and setting word space is not allowed so click on uh, click right uh, click right uh, right click on this word and click option setting dot like this if you want to if you want, you do not want to change then click on the ignore option now you can change the styles like this no special normal heading format heading 2 format title format subtitle format you can change the styles according to your need 
like this if you want to change the styles uh, colors uh, etc you can change like this but before changing the colors you have to implement already some some colors instead of black color like this now you can watch different different uh, color styles this is the combination of different colors and you can implement style set but before implementing you have to change here like this then you can change you can watch this is the fancy style this is a formal this is a manuscript and this is a modern style you can change fonts i am taking here times new roman you can take arial style this style burdana styles these styles it's your choice if you want to watch that where you enter then you can click this option you can watch this option it can show you where you enter the keep enter keep press and this option is used for sorting of alphabet sorting of numeric data i am uh, i am uh, i i will teach this option uh, i will teach this option in next lessons this uh, option is used for decrease ident or decrease ident like this this is used for for moving right side and this is option used for left identification like this and these are uh, these options are used for implementing bullets there are different types of bullet styles you can add your new styles you can add pictures you can add a new symbols it's your choice i can uh, i will discuss about it in detail in next lecture now i am going to repeat again all options first of all i am uh, uh, i was discussed about how to implement font face how to change the size how to grow how to shrink the size of text how to implement bold italic underline and uh, how to uh, implement strike option strike through option sub sub subscript superscript change case highlight and uh, uh, how to change the color how to implement alignments left right and center by default we use the justified option for setting the paragraphs and uh, how to uh, take the spaces between the paragraphs lines and how to remove these spaces after or before paragraphs and uh, how to implement indentations left and right how to check the uh, we click on the enter key and this is this option is used for this and how to change the different styles how can use the quote styles how can use the title styles how can uh, use the heading first second third options <coughs> how can change the styles font color text each and every now in the last but it's uh, uh, you have to keep you should be keep in mind that when you work in the computer then you should be first of all save the file after some time you have to save the file but starting from the first time you have to first of all click on the office button or this option save option or you can use the shortcut control plus s for saving the file you uh, you if you click on the office button then go into the save button option same uh, save option and save the file by default all files are saving in the documents of microsoft word you can you uh, you can create here new folder like this 
I am here creating the WAP perfect classes folder. WAP perfect classes folder. And double click on the WAP perfect classes. I am already using the raw perfect classes folder here. So I am using that folder, raw perfect classes. Now, if you want to give you name, then you can give. Otherwise, it takes the first line of the uh, document uh, document which you are uh, which you write. Now I am here taking name demo one and save in the raw perfect classes folder click you can watch in this line name of the file which you given now in next lessons i will teach you all other options i will teach you full basic course in youtube classes if you like then please like and share these uh, these uh, uh, files so that number of persons can take the benefit from these classes i will teach you full microsoft office word excel powerpoint in detail in youtube classes if you want to learn these classes live then you can comment in live in comment option and i will uh, arrange for uh, teaching you live classes of basic course. Thank you. Subscribe. Please click on like and subscribe button and share button so that you can get the next lessons of basic courses. Thank you.